put my hands around his neck and squeeze his neck and let him see how it feels, how he did all these women's. Eddie Smith lost his sister over 30 years ago when she was killed by a man who has since confessed to killing 90 women. Smith, for decades, has waited for answers, and nearly a week ago, he received that phone call. I want to talk to you about Fredonia Smith. And uh, I said, yeah, what about her? Well, we found the guy who killed her. I said, don't thank her, I said, thank you, Jesus. Smith says since then, he hasn't been able to sleep. It brought back a lot of memory, a lot of bad memories. You know, I remember the day after the funeral. You know, uh, I remember running in this house. Smith says he remembers Christmas, one of the best times for his family, and this is no coincidence. That's a big gift, but it hurts. Still. For over three decades, Smith held a grudge towards the wrong person he thought killed his sister. The person I owe an apology to is my sister boyfriend at that time. All the years I thought he did it. But that wasn't the killer. Fredonia Smith was murdered in 1982 by Samuel Little, a serial killer, one that is killed from the East Coast to the West Coast, according to Bibb County Captain Shermaine Jones. He's at a body count of 90. In United States history, that's it's almost, it's not it's been heard of. During Little's confession, he gave details that only the killer would know. Little was able to give information about where they were sitting, sitting when, when the incident took place, where he dropped her body. Little is already receiving life in prison. Jones says he won't see the light of day. You can add time on time, but what, what's life on life? Smith says he would love to look his sister's killer in the face and say... Tell him my sister's name. And she had people that cared about her, loved her. Nearly 90 families across the United States are finally receiving closure. We all have something in common. We lost a loved one. Now the question is, 36 years later, why did Little confess? He might die soon. You know, maybe that's the reason he came forward with all of this, trying to clear his conscience. Smith said Fredona was a loving person who loved kids and was still a child at heart, a child that died fighting to the very end. I asked what my sister raped. They said no. They said that uh, she fought him. They said, he said that my sister was getting the best of him.